This is Jacob Rees-Mogg, and he just got schooled about the NHS and the nursing strikes. Before coming here, I cut out some things. Actually, I tore out, to be accurate, some things from the sun, which I think is extraordinary about what's happening in the NHS. So, You mean the same sun that wrote this? Say Brexit, say Britain. Lights are about to go out. All the things that are happening to us right now. The destruction of Brexit. You mean that sun newspaper? Wait till you see what he said a couple of months earlier about 50 million quid. Um, you've got 20 directors of lived experience on jobs of up to £115,000 a year. So if that is correct, and bear in mind this has come from the Sun, that's about £2 million pounds that he's talking about in savings. And £100,000 uh, on t lecturing doctors on how to correctly address pregnant trans men. So that's £2 million plus 100000 Now, if you are wasting money on silly things... And that's going to come back to bite him shortly you're not going to have enough money to pay the nurses. And we're spending £170 billion on the health service. It employs 1.2 billion people, and it is not delivering the service people expect. Stella? That is a fundamental problem. Yeah. Jacob, you can dog whistle all you want. You were part of a government that wrote off £10 billion worth of PPE by the poor management of contracts. Wow. And it gets worse. Because that £10 billion was wasted because they had no preparations. If you want to learn more about the lack of prep that they've done, have a watch of this video. I'll put a link at the end of this video. Another important fact that I only recently discovered is that for the Queen's funeral, government members and ministers would meet three times a year, but for a pandemic, they only prepped maybe every seven years. To me, that just shows how little they care about the British population. Because they had not maintained medical stocks, it caused them to scramble for supplies elsewhere which were already at inflated prices. And because they had no plans for what to do in a pandemic, it meant that chaos ensued and corruption was rife, which you can learn about in this video on Baroness Moan. And finally, there's this heaving monstrosity that turned up. And I'm not talking about Boris Johnson in any way, shape or form. What I'm talking about is this bus, which claimed that there was 350 million available, totaling at 18.5 billion a year, if we left the EU. So far, the government have said over the last six years that they're going to put 20.5 billion into the NHS, which works out at about 3.5 billion a year. So where's the other 15 billion? But that gets better as well, because we've still been paying into the EU since 2018 to 21, which means that money that they've claimed is going into the NHS through Brexit is a lie, because that money was still going into the EU. That means when we leave and we stop paying which will be around 2023, 2024, that's when we'll be able to pump in another 18.5 billion into the NHS. The worst thing about that, Mog knows this, and he's just trying to gaslight everyone by being transphobic. I'll tell you what strikes me, Joe. Uh, this weekend, I was at a food bank that was doing a collection for the nurses at my local hospital that was being supported by our local firefighters who were also doing a collection for their staff. These are people we expect to keep us well, keep us safe. And this pay review body took data from the government, it took direction from the government from December last year about what inflation would be like. So it's all very well, Jacob, absolutely, we should be looking at the pay for next year. But we also need to look at the pay now because it was based on the idea that inflation would be at 2%. According to this Tory MP, Miss Caulfield, for every percent of pay rise you give a nurse, it will cost about 700 million. It's not been fully verified, but okay. Well, part of that will be recouped in taxes and spending that will take place in the NHS for when nurses go in and buy food. It will also mean that we'll retain more nurses, saving money, and delay fewer operations, saving money, and keep people, children in particular, safer. However, if a 10% pay rise was offered, that's 7 billion, which is exactly the same amount as we're paying the EU this year. Once again, the money's there, the Tories just don't want to spend it. And rather than this I think they took into account higher inflation levels no, than that, no, because no, it was by the, the time they gave the review, uh, they no, recommend, the, their the, recommendation, the it was more like February, was, March. No, the data from the government... Was, well, and if we look at inflation rates since then, mm. they've gone no, up No, absolutely. Further. So there is absolutely... You know, the nurses say they want to negotiate. The government could play an honest broker role here and get people around a table to actually talk about what the pay should be, given the evidence on inflation... And instead, you're trying to dog whistle and, of course, bring in that old schlibberless trans people. No, it, Jacob, it's, the it's... nurses deserve better. Then have a listen to this from Mog defending how you can spend about probably somewhere in the region about 50 million on a coronation. Those that just two years ago we were standing on our doorsteps clapping for. Note that the government haven't done one single day to celebrate the NHS since that. Uh, well, 
uh, the, the, the wage round this year is part of a negotiation. That negotiation will continue. But the taxpayer ha has limited money. Everything that is done by government has to be funded by taxpayers, either this year or in future if it's done through borrowing. There is not an unlimited amount of money, and governments always have to work within that. What should we do about the coronation? How much should we spend on the coronation next year? Well, uh, um, I don't have a specific figure for how much we should, should be a cut spend. Price coronation? Um, we don't have coronations very often. Uh, I think the key to the coronation, actually, is that it's a religious ceremony. So much to unpack there. Why can't the king pay for it themselves if they want it that badly? Why does it have to come out of the taxpayer's purse? If it's a religious ceremony, what if you're not religious? And if you don't believe in the monarchy and want a republic, why do you have to pay for it? It is effectively a sacrament. The last anointed monarch uh, in Europe, um, other, arguably than the Pope, um, with a ceremony that dates back to Anglo-Saxon times. So we can find um, money I think, for that, but I not for I, I, I think it was um, uh, Dunstan, St Dunstan of, Ca of um, Glastonbury, uh, who really devised the coronation. Um, no, because the costings are entirely different. That's it all comes from the public purse, doesn't no, it? No, no, no. One is a small one-off amount in the... Con 50 million is a small one-off amount, you just heard there. Yet yeah, earlier we heard... And £100,000... ...to ensure people talk to trans people correctly. ...context of government expenditure. Um, pay rates are billions of pounds. Nobody's talking about a coronation that will cost billions of pounds. How much should it cost? To put a precise figure on it uh, is not, it, not for me to do. If it was to be but, comparable with the previous one, it would be something like 46 million quid. Uh, that's what it equates to now from 1953 well, costs. Well, it depends how you account for it. Um, well, you compare to how much it costs in the last time. But on top of that, again, why can't the king pay for it? Uh, I hope we see um, a coronation that is sufficiently dignified for our sovereign. This is a one-off cost. The last one um, was for coronation for a reign of 70 years. So this is not something that happens often. It needs to be done properly. And it's completely irrelevant to um, pay rates because £46 million would not buy you an increase in pay for people employed in the public service. The guy is a complete hypocrite. He just moaned about £2 million, but £48 million, oh, it's nothing. So, they're two-faced. I'm pretty sure they're trying to get rid of the NHS. And overall, when you look at it, they don't care about the population. He's more interested in one monarch than he is about thousands of children who are potentially suffering as a result of their incompetence, their neglect, their corruption, and their just pure evilness in trying to destroy the NHS. Once again, thank you to all my supporters. You keep this channel running and going. To all of you who'd like to support for free, just click that subscribe button. Every little helps, and that means I get to buy more coffees, allowing me to stay up longer and make more videos. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.